2023 is around the corner and you see that there are many opportunities for those who know how to program, such as 100k jobs, the ability to create artificial intelligence, and be cool like the hacker in the movies. You start and finish many tutorials on HTML for beginners, how to program in C++, and Python tutorials. It's bro, hope you're doing well. You know the basics of three programming languages, but at the end of the eight hour video, you don't feel like you know anything. If you want to be a part of the programming world, you must know the basics of programming and the fundamentals. In this video, we're going to go over how to start programming from zero and what makes a programmer understand different technologies and systems based on their foundational knowledge in programming. My name is Bradley Allen and on this channel, we focus on many important computer science topics with the purpose of making you more knowledgeable in the technology field. Let's get into the video. We can compare programming languages to a spoken language. There are over 7,000 languages spoken across the world, and each of these languages have a different style or syntax. And nobody wants to learn 7,000 languages, but everyone uses their language to reason, express ideas, argue a point, and provide directions. For example, when someone calls the police in their spoken language, they already know what to say. They have the steps in their mind and all they have to do is to verbalize the steps with their language, such as picking up the phone, explain what is happening, requesting help. These actions must be created and thought about in a person's mind. We can compare this to how programmers think. Programmers use an algorithmic approach to solving problems. This means they have the steps in their mind and use the language to tell the computer what to do. The ability to think is not attached to one specific language. A person can know Spanish, Chinese, and English, but their ability to think would not change at all. They may know three languages, but do they know what to talk about? This is the same with programming languages. Now an algorithm is just a fancy word for a step-by-step -step process to solve a problem. For example, if we had the problem of wanting to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, we can use an algorithm to solve that problem. Open the fridge, get the jelly, get the peanut butter, get the bread, set peanut butter on bread, set jelly on bread, close fridge. This way of thinking is what makes programmers really good at solving problems regardless of the syntax or language at hand. The switch between just thinking, oh, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to okay, I need to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with one, two, three, and how I'm gonna do it is the major mindset switch that programmers have in their head. So now in the future, if the problem of making a BLT sandwich comes up, we will have the XP and experience to transfer the process of making a PB&J to making a BLT. The only difference is now is that we're using different ingredients, AKA a different language and syntax, but we still are solving the problem of making a sandwich. When learning to program, this process and idea and mindset shift must be in the back of your mind or all of your learning will not have as much impact as you want it to. The process of solving problems is transferable to any language or syntax. Now that you understand how to think like a programmer, you must choose your weapon of choice to solve your problems. Now I won't go over which language to pick, but I will go over the common properties that most languages have. Most programming languages have these six things. The first is loops. Looping is where a program will keep going and keep going until told otherwise. The second thing is variables. Variables let us store information into the memory. The third is data types, so such as integer, string, char. The fourth is arithmetic operators. This could be addition, subtraction, division. Fifth is relational operators, so greater than and less than. And then the sixth is Boolean operators. When you go through and learn your language of choice, you'll find out all the different nuances with the language and get better with it. Programming languages allow programmers to solve problems in a systematic way. The language you choose is like a tool that is easy to pick up and learn, but hard to master, like a hammer. Anybody can hit a hammer and hit things with a hammer, but knowing how to hit nails with one hit takes a little bit of practice and experience. And this is the same way with programming languages. 
So now that you have the mindset of a programmer and your language of choice, here is how you start programming from zero. First, you start with analyzing a problem, analyze it and understand the problem fully. This will allow you to make a program and be able to solve it. The second, use a flowchart to visualize the steps for solving and get an overall process or algorithm of how you're going to solve the problem. Third would be to use pseudocode, which is basically English to explain the code that you are going to write. Fourth is to have test cases. So go through your idea of how you're going to solve it and go over the solution with an example case or input. Then when you have those four steps done, you can start coding up the solution. So for example, if we had the problem of wanting to output the numbers one to a hundred into the console. We first need to understand what our problem is. We need to have the numbers one to a hundred and we want it to output to the screen. We can have a flow chart to visualize how we're going to do this. Then we'll have our pseudo code, which is basically English to explain the code we're going to write. We'll have a test case and then we'll start coding. This takes you from zero or a problem to a full working program. Each of these steps will not come easy, but as a programmer, it is up to you to solve the problem at hand. Thank you for watching the video, and if you learned something new, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.